So here we are in Panama with you know, Captain Shane Jarvis and uh, one of the great things about tuna fishing is you can eat the things. And uh, fresh yellowfin is kind of hard to explain unless you've had it. People think that you can get it at you know, a sushi restaurant or that you can you know, buy it at the store, but the experience really isn't there. So we got about a 25 pounder we caught today out of hopper and uh, kind of fillet it and kind of show you some of the attributes about a fish and you know, kind of how, how it works. But, one thing that's neat about the tuna is that they're really like designed for efficiency and to be streamlined and they spend their whole lives swimming and that's part of the reason why they fight so much and you can see if you look on the fish's body here it's got a groove sort of where it can stack down it's you know it's uh it's fin here it's pectoral fin and uh maximize you know efficiency and decrease drag and it's got all kinds of things that you know really make it. It's like a torpedo that swims, and it just goes all over the place, eating as much as it can. It's got a high metabolism, and uh, really makes it a lot of fun to catch. But it's also very hard to fight. So here we are. So we're gonna crack her open. And then everybody likes to eat. The chefs of the world really love to eat the uh, tuna belly, and we'll show you that deal here in a second. But basically, it's just like playing any kind of fish you ever played but just, you know, on a, on a larger scale if you're a freshwater guy. And so you just take your knife and uh, kind of that line around the fish, around the backbone here, and then go down, cut right here, about, about by the tail, come down around the outside of the ribs, on this side, or the, or the backbone, I should say. Flip it over and do the same thing. Here. And there you have it. So one of the neat things about yellowfin is it makes it such a strong fighting fish is the amount of bloodline it has. And so if you come here, you can see why the fish fight so hard. So fish typically have two types of muscle. The first is your lighter color, the type that you eat, and that's your like fast twitch, fast motion sort of what makes it run when it fights. And the second is this red, you know, bloodline. And what that has, the, the more of that the fish has, the more endurance it'll have to fight. And so tuna, they spend their whole lives swimming around, and they'll swim thousands of miles over the course of their life, depending on when you catch them and when you eat them. And uh, so they got a lot of this red stuff, and that's why they fight so much. So the red stuff, it's good for the tuna, and what it does, but it's not very good to eat. So you got to cut it out. And I'll show it to you here in a second. So. Cutting out the bloodline, and you come out, turn the skin here in a second. Turn the bloodline on the other side, and show it to you. Get all these bones as well. And there you have it. We've got a top one, the bottom one here. And uh, turn this up. Here, and you can skin it just like every other fish you ever caught. If you do it without fucking it up, that'd be nice. Some sashimi, some sushi, or uh, grill it.